I came with AutoFix Pile. Today we are working on a 1999 Nissan Maxima with a slight misfire at idle. First thing I did was grab my oscilloscope, my amp clamp, and got it connected to the common ground wire on the um, intake manifold. The common ground wire for Nissan's ignition coils are usually on the intake manifold on the timing cover somewhere like right around this area. Wait till the video shows it. Usually around that area somewhere or on top of the valve cover on the four cylinders, but it's usually pretty easy to get to, so that's why I hook up the amp clamp to the um, to the ground wire so we can get a parade pattern on the scope. To figure out which one of those two ground wires are the ground wires for the ignition coils, you just simply hook up your, your amp clamp, look at the pattern on the screen, and it should look like this, or this, one of the two. One of them will be flawed, one of them will not be flawed, depending on what's wrong with your car. But if it's nothing wrong with your car, then you should have a perfect pattern like this. And um, if that doesn't work, then you hook it up to the other ground wire and you figure it out which one is which just by looking at the pattern. So the next thing you need to do is hook up your channel 2 lead to one of the ignition coils. You'll need to be able to identify which one of those peaks on the parade pattern that you see on your scope. It's cylinder 1, 2, 3, and cylinder 4, or 5 and 6, depending on how many cylinders you have on your vehicle. So you'll hook it up to one of those cylinders, one other cylinder. It could be cylinder number 1 if you can get to it easy, or cylinder number 3. If it's cylinder number 3, you would simply count 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then you'll find out which one of those peaks on your parade pattern is the cylinder that's acting up. See right there I have it connected, which is the red trace right there. I have that connected to cylinder number one and you can see my cylinder number one is the cylinder that has the misfire. So the next step for me to determine if it's a wiring issue to the coil, resistance in the power circuit or something like that, or resistance in the ground circuit, would be for me to take that number one ignition coil and move it to number three, number four, or any other spot that's easy to reach on the vehicle and see if the misfire follows. If the misfire follows wherever you move the coil to, then you know you got a bad ignition coil. Another method that you can use to synchronize your parade pattern to find out which cylinder is which cylinder is to hook your second amp clamp. If you have a second amp clamp, you can hook it up to that loop right there, and that loop right there ties into the number one cylinder. It's used for adjusting the timing on Nissans because you can adjust the timings using the scanner with most Nissans. And um, pretty much every Nissan has a loop somewhere on the wiring harness in that area. It might be on the valve cover, it might be on the, um, it might be exactly right there where you see it next to the timing cover. But you'll see some wire sticking out that looks like a loop that looks like it doesn't belong there. That's where you hook your second amp clamp up to and synchronize all of Now this that. Maxima was originally misfiring on cylinder number three, but prior to me starting this video, I had already moved the um, ignition coil to cylinder number one so that we can figure out where the misfire is coming from, coil, spark plug, wiring, so on and so forth. Thanks for watching, subscribe, like, and comment. Peace.